What's going on guys? It's been a minute, but we're back. Madden Bull is right on the way. The draft format, you guys may have may not heard of it. Check out my last video on the Madden Bull if you haven't. So Madden Bull this year is completely different, man. And uh, you know, I it's cool and it's not cool in certain things. So last year I had a great Madden Bull run. And honestly, a lot of you guys to this day that are subscribed met me from that Madden Bull run. And you know, I feel like that Madden Bull is a prestigious thing. Uh, it should be really like individual, individualized and it, there should be a belt. But this year they're making it somewhat of a draft format, a 3v3, which you know, it's grown on me now, but you know, it, it is always nice to have that belt on the line, those hell games each and every game. So we'll just see how it goes. So I am a captain, man. Um, I don't know what the order is yet for the pick, but we'll just have to wait and see. Hopefully I'm up there. Um, I got the second overall captain, like I was the second uh, known captain because obviously second place in the biggest tournament of the year. And from there, all the rest of the spots filled out throughout, you know, DC, regs, etc., etc. Guys, I got something to show you if you want to look right now. My new pup, newest member of the family. His name is Miku. Uh, German Shepherd Husky Mix. I gotta get better with dogs, cause you know, it's been a minute since I had one. But you know, he's a really good boy. Paw, paw, there we go. And uh, you know, I'll learn each and every day. This was nice content, man. I really like, our family wanted a dog for a minute and here we go. Um, but you know, we'll learn each and every day is, you know, he's gonna be grow more and more and more. Uh, I think he's like four months to this point. And there he goes, kind of wilding out, but you know, that's just a new pup and you know, get some better training each and every day and you know, definitely see more and more of him on the videos. I'm just looking at him, man, he's a good boy just wandering around and uh, yeah, he's gonna get very big very soon and he's already gotten so much bigger uh, since we've gotten him. Here's the, uh, I'll show you guys some, you know, pictures when we got him to, you know, how he is now and you guys will be able to tell. So guys, uh, we're back upstairs. It was getting a little high. I do know that I have this jacket on, but it's pretty nice. I just threw it on. Why not? Face, and then, I don't know if you guys peeked the back, but the back is really why I got it. That NFL uh, logos. You know, obviously I'm a huge Raiders fan, but I still mess with this so much, like all the NFL logos. I really don't care for like, oh, it has the Chiefs logo on it. I'm not gonna buy it, so. This is really dope. But the whole reason we're up now is that we have been working on this, thinking about this for a minute now. And you know, it's still still like in the early stages and we still gotta get quite a bit more things. But um, here we go, man. You can check it out real quick. We got this whole bunch of new equipment. My stream setup, my YouTube setup, my content game is going up a whole new notch. Um, for the most part, I've been using this little Logitech, which isn't bad. But you know, if I'm trying to be the most consistent and one of the better streamers, content creators out there, you gotta level up your game, you gotta invest in yourself. And I felt like it was about time, man. Like a lot of great things have been happening. Tournaments, um, you know, a lot of opportunities, whether it be commentating, watch parties. I'm like, you know what, man? Just just invest in yourself and wreak the, uh, wreak the gains or just seek the rewards is basically what I'm trying to say. So here we go, man. Um, this camera right here, it's a really nice camera. It's honestly pretty expensive, but I know it will be up to the task. And you know, obviously the guy recording saw it, he's gonna be able, my guy, he's gonna be able to you know, help me out with all this. Cause you know, I am a Madden player and I'm all right with technology, but with this type of stuff is super new to me. So we got a camera, the lens still hasn't came, got a green screen to that left right there. And trust me, we'll show you guys finished product when it's finished, who knows how long it's gonna take. This is a whole new thing for us. And then, you know, I honestly forgot what I ordered, but you know, like wall pieces, as in, you know, mounting the, up the wall with the styrofoam so the sound is great. Um, what else is there? I can't even think. Obviously like camera lenses and then like something to hold the camera, uh, mount the camera, and just a whole bunch of things. I'm gonna open it up real quick and show you guys what we got. Yo guys, check out this hoodie NCL, NACL gifted me. Um, they've gifted me quite a bit of things. Go check them out, NACL. Big things are on the way, best believe. But yeah, man, we've been uh, 
We've been working at it a little bit here and there, steady working. Um, we just need an extra couple pieces and I'll order them, they're gonna be coming in. Amazon Prime, you know the vibes, coming in tomorrow or like the day after. It's honestly crazy how all that works. But yeah, so we've been working on it and the setup will be complete very, very soon. Obviously need a couple more pieces, but I'm very happy and excited to see what's gonna come out of it. See right here, a uh, little sneak peek is, saw so mentioned this, you know, this is like a little uh, phone phone mount. You can move it around, it's pretty nice. This is like for, you know, IG Live or like, you know, posting a little video. Um, but another great thing that comes out of it is like a hand cam. So obviously I'm playing right here. I could figure out a way, we'll figure it out, man. We'll do the details to, you know, you guys could just zoom in on me playing, spamming the buttons, making my adjustments, because I know you guys like that, especially when Fortnite players do it and Call of Duty players do it. So it's something I'm trying to make for Madden, you know, trying to do it. Nothing too crazy, but you know, just a little nice addition. And maybe, who knows, more people will do it. So, and just, uh, just some nice little additions, you know, here and there, and we'll see how it works. Just got done with the level next show, next one up, I believe it's called, with one great user. Man, he's, he's an awesome person, man. And uh, basically what it was, it was just an hour show. We played a little bit of squad, uh, guard, I should say. And we were just talking, chopping it up. And, you know, he asked me some questions, asked him some questions, talked about Madden Bowl, et cetera, et cetera. I highly recommend you guys, you know, watch some highlights or watch some pieces, bits and pieces of this VOD, past bo broadcast. And yeah, that's all I have to say for now. Shout out to user, shout out to Level Next. I really love what they're doing. You know, bring in the young college students for Madden tournaments. I definitely might have to sign up for college. As in, you know, I, I think they have a uh, restricted to, you know, the higher level colleges. So you know, if they keep doing that, definitely maybe Sac State, Chico State or something like that. You never know. But that's later on down the line. We are doing this right here, right now. What if something you worked for your entire life came down to one moment? In the 2001 NFL draft. What if one sentence carried the weight of your dream? Atlanta Falcons select Michael Vick. UK Metcalf. Aaron Rodgers. Deion Sanders. Carter. After a year filled with what ifs, the time has come to change the question to what's next. Man, what's up? Tonight. The dawn of a new era in John Madden football. Eight of the best players in the world will build a squad and come together as a team to win as a team. Will a top pick fulfill his destiny and carry his brothers to glory? Let's go! Crib! Crib! Or will an MVP in waiting take the chip on his shoulder and churn it into greatness? I have two belts and I'm looking to get a third in the Bowl. A year later, the world is recovering from unprecedented chaos, having done it together. Jay Wall just sealed himself the belt! So tonight, the best Madden players in the world will dream together, compete together, win together. Welcome to the Madden Bowl Draft Edition. With the seventh overall pick in the Madden 21 Bowl Draft, Pavin selects Spam and Buttons out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Drini is on the clock. Wow. Shocker, user. This is a absolute shocker. We did not expect this, user. We both had Spam and Buttons last on our draft board. Pavin, though, being a student of the game, you got to think he has a strategy in store. He knows what he's doing. He's probably been in contact. This is incredible user, what do you think? I mean, absolutely, this is a shocker. Spamming buttons, I feel like he could have easily got him in the second round, but maybe Pavin sees something, maybe he knows something, and he felt like spamming buttons has a secret, or maybe he just feels like it's gonna be the chemistry there. Sometimes two alphas on the same squad can't get it done, and maybe he's just trying to look for some troops that will line up and get the job done. Spamming buttons, hey, he's made it here, and this is a shocker for me, T. Yeah, this is this is crazy, Katie. Uh, we're we're completely flabbergasted right now. But congratulations <laughs> to Spam and Buttons. That is yeah. big time for him. He's gonna go seven overall. Can't wait to see what he can do. Yeah, Spam and Buttons with that 86 overall rating. As we look at his player ratings here, and uh, 
User, I mean, uh, when you're thinking, when you're Drini and, you know, even the other seven captains and you're looking ahead, is this kind of intimidating? Because you're kind of like, what is Pavin up to? This big shocker, is this to kind of throw the other guys off? User knows nothing because with the 10th pick in the Madden NFL 21 Bowl Draft, Pavin selects out of Kenosha, Wisconsin, Vose. Ape is on the clock. Vos, wow. there it is. User, we talked about a little bit. Vos stock has dropped a little bit. You see him there. He's got a smile. He looks excited. I think he feels like he's a confident kid, so I feel like he feels like he fell a lot. But K Mac really dropping now. User, this is your guy, Vos. Break it down. What are you seeing here with this pair with Pavin? I mean, this is actually a good steal because Vos has first run talent. First round talent is just because of his chemistry. Bot Wars really had his stock plummet from being a first round talent, making it in that bottom five to eight pick to the second round. So this is actually a good pick. If Pobbin is somehow able to keep the reins on Vos, keep him under control, don't have him talking so reckless like he was doing to Jaybird, hey, this could be a great steal for Pobbin. We'll see what he has under his sleeve. Yeah, we certainly will. We'll be talking to him soon. But first, looking at Vose's player ratings. He's got an 88 overall, a 90 stick rating, and a 91 on offense. Could that work with Spam and Buttons and, and uh, Pavin? We will find out. We'll call that Team Pavin. And, uh, you know, Vose took to Twitter about his uh, player ratings, and he had something to say about that. At Vose13 says, experts say I'm the most balanced player in the draft pool. And that's exactly what you're looking for in a draft prospect. What do you think, Tyler? Uh, hold, hold on. Who are these experts that are saying he's the most balanced player in the draft pool? <laughs> me, I don't know me. where he's getting. I don't know me. where he's getting these reports from. User, you need to you need to check yourself then, because that's pretty inaccurate, I would say, to say the least. But I, I, this this combination is kind of interesting to me because, like you said, user Vos, you know, he can get kind of wild. He can get kind of out of control. Pavin's the complete opposite of that. So. I, I love Vose's talent. He's so talented, but can Pavin can kind of control him, give him some of that experience that Pavin has. When he talks about that balance, maybe it'll balance out. With that, let's bring in Pavin. And Pavin, congratulations on setting your team, Spam and Buttons and Vose. Let me tell you, you gave us some surprises tonight. With that, you gave User and TD some surprises tonight. What led to your decisions to make this team uh, for you? Um, honestly, Spam and Buttons have been, you know, playing super well during the LCQ on PS4 side. And uh, he's like a person that gave Henry like some very, very, very close games, like every time they played. I mean, he's just really good on Mutt. And then Vos, I feel like he's just well balanced. You know, if he wants to play DC, he can, uh, SC or Mutt as well. And he had been playing a lot of squads lately, so I feel like he has a lot of knowledge that, you know, may I be, that I may be missing out on. And, you know, I feel like we'll be a good team um, if we can keep our chemistry, which I know we will. You know, it'll be good vibes all the way around. And, you know, uh, I feel like we could really do some work on squads. Uh, I know Spammon has some really good run stick, and obviously Vos has a, no a lot of knowledge. And he had been playing a lot already, so I feel like we'll be a decent team. And, you know, a lot of people are kind of surprised with the picks, but, you know, I, I thought it through and, you know, obviously picked those guys for a reason. Yeah, Pavin, back in that first round, I believe Dusty was ahead of you, and he chose Allen. Were you, were you trying to get Allen in that next spot, and then that kind of threw you off a little bit? Yeah, 100%. So, like, when something like that happens, you know, you have to make a pick on the fly. Um, I thought for, you know, the, the past week, two weeks, I'd be, you know, at least have Allen. Um, obviously, Wesley is up there. You know, I'd pick him or Allen. And, you know, I didn't get either of them. So, I had to kind of make a pick on the fly. Um, I just really think Spam and Buttons is underrated. And, you know, uh, I like his energy. He's a really cool guy. And I feel like he could definitely make some damage. And then Vos falling that far was kind of surprising as well. And you know, I'm, you know, I feel like I had, a, I got a really good team with those, you know, not back-to-back -back picks, but you know, very close picks yeah. to each other. Yeah, we are keeping a close eye on your strategy tonight, uh, Pavin. Congratulations on setting your team, and we're looking forward to seeing what you guys can do in the Madden Bowl. Appreciate that. All right, so Team Pavin is set once again. It's Pavin spamming buttons and Vos. Pavin saying for himself that Buttons has a good run stick. Vos has some good knowledge. It'll certainly be interesting to see how that trio can work out starting on Sunday. This has been fun. Two teams are set. Up next, it's Ape uh, looking to complete his team with the 11th pick.